Hello there, and welcome to another video from Wondershirt Dr. Film. So today, I, Francisco, will be providing you with an overview of some impressive ways to fix the iPad widescreen issues. So while you own an iPad and are perplexed over its conditions, we come with the best and the most accurate remedies that could help you protect your device from getting permanently damaged. So before we get started with these fixes, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon for all of the latest updates on our channel, and do proceed with fixing the iPad that is stuck on the widescreen issue. So let's dive right in. Part 1. Why is iPad stuck on widescreen? And can I fix it by myself? Well, firstly, the main question rounds up over the reasons why one faces such an issue on their iPad. Since this is a question that will help you lead to the right fix, it is necessary to give a view of the reasons. For a better selection of your fixes, find out why iPad gets stuck on the widescreen. Number one could just be jailbreaking the iPad. If you have tried jailbreaking your iPad, one of the potential issues associated with this process is the widescreen of death. Although you seek to add functionality to your iPad by, by breaching the security protocols of the iPad OS, a slight technical mistake can lead to such major problems. With your iPad stuck on the widescreen, you have nowhere to go. System Updates Issues amidst the system upgrade can also lead to a widescreen of death on an iPad. Usually, an iPad restarts twice while updating its system officially. If there is a slight glitch or technical discrepancy in the device's operations, it can lead to such problems. Along with that, if the firmware file of the iPad OS has any corrupted components, it can also cause the iPad widescreen of death issue to happen. Display slash other hardware issues. Apart from various software issues, the problem of the widescreen of death can also be linked directly to the display and other hardware issues. If it is a hardware failure, the, the probable solution to this problem is to contact the manufacturer and follow the protocols as appropriate. Now as for part two, how to fix iPad widescreen easily. So for managing software concerns with your device that is leading to the iPad widescreen of death, there are going to be multiple remedies and solutions that can be tried. We came up with a few answers to these problems and are following fixes providing you with strong solutions that can be managed properly. So to know how to fix your iPad widescreen, follow the instructions guided throughout the fixes. Fix the number one, disconnect and reconnect the charger. So was your iPad connected to a charger while you were performing something and it got stuck on the widescreen? If so, then the first thing to trigger the device is to disconnect and reconnect the charger, which might put it back to normal. Now, before performing anything specific, this is going to be the best thing to do as it does not associate any kind of cost or drawback with it. It's worth trying. Even if you have not connected the charger before, you could try it after the iPad gets stuck on the white screen. Fix number two. Attempt a hard restart. So if this does not do anything for you, the next thing that you can try is attempting a hard reset on your iPad. So doing this will resolve all kinds of temporary glitches that are held in the operations of the, of the device. Force restarting a device starts all major procedures from scratch, which is why it can prove to be pretty effective in getting the iPad that is stuck on a widescreen resolved. To know how it is done, just follow the guidelines shown next. So for iPad with Face ID or Touch ID, press and release the volume button nearest to the top button on the iPad. Continue to press and release the volume button that has a greater distance from the top button of the iPad. So then just proceed to press and hold the top button until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For iPads with the home button, press and hold the home and top buttons on your iPad. And then just wait until the Apple logo appears on the screen, showing that the iPad has forced restarted. Fix number three, repair iPad OS slash reinstall iPad OS using iTunes or Finder. So if you're unable to find a solution to your problem, strict measures are to be taken to make sure that the device becomes operational. Repairing or reinstalling the iPad OS with the help of iTunes or Finder is the next thing that you can do. Since you have an iPad stuck on the Apple logo widescreen, you might have to put the device in recovery mode or connect it directly. So to make use of this method properly, just follow the steps guided next. First, just connect your iPad with the computer or Mac that you are using for restoring the device. As you do, continue to put the iPad in recovery mode, for which you have to follow these simple instructions. For iPad with home button, hold the power and home buttons of your iPad until the recovery mode screen appears on the screen. For iPad without home button, press the volume button closest to the top button, then press the one further 
and hold the top button until the recovery mode screen appears. Once the iPad is in recovery mode, it will be detected by iTunes or Finder. Upon detection, a prompt appears directly on the window of your device, where you have to tap on restore to proceed with the restoration. If it is not required to put the device in recovery mode, just continue to select the iPad in Finder or iTunes from the left panel. Then select the option of restore iPad and continue to click on restore against the prompt that appears. This will restore your device to the factory settings and make your iPad just as good as new. Fix number four, repair iPadOS slash reinstall iPadOS using Wondershare Dr. Phone. So system and software concerns are often not dealt with properly with solutions provided before. So if that is the case, you need a strong tool that can allow you to manage device issues in a better way. So Wondershare Dr. Phone represents its tool system repair for iOS as an answer to iPad stuck on the white screen. This system repair solution offers some of the finest results against the problems occurring on the iPad. Along with its quick operations, Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS also offers mul multiple modes of repair. These modes help users to get better and more controlled results. So to know how one can resolve the problem of an iPad stuck on white Apple screen with Dr. Phone, follow the steps guided coming right up. Step one is always going to be to download and install Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer, and then proceed to select System Repair from the system options. Continue to attach your iPad to the computer and then lead Next. As you progress Next, go ahead and select iOS from the given options. Since you have to repair your iPad, select the option of iOS Repair to continue Next. Then select the appropriate error from the available options and proceed to select Repair Now from the options. If you are not having an idea of the error from the options, you can still click on the button to let the platform detect it automatically. Just select standard mode from the next screen options for a simple repair. Put the device in recovery mode, which can be done by following the on-screen instructions. So once done, just click on the enter recovery mode option. You have to select guide to recovery mode if you're facing issues in putting your device in the mode. Once you're done putting the device in recovery mode, the platform just automatically detects the device. A list of iPadOS firmware appears on the screen, out of which you, you can just select any option. As you click on download, the firmware starts downloading. After its verification, just go ahead and click on repair now to start installing the iPadOS firmware on the device. And with that, we are pretty much done discussing the ways to fix the iPad white screen of death issue. So we hope that you will be able to resolve all concerns involving the iPad white screen of death. For more videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get an update on all new videos. Do like and comment on this video as well, as we are open to suggestions. So so until next time, enjoy.